Hey guys, so today I want to talk a little bit more about food selection, specifically fat selection. So I've talked about this before. Uh, I made a post, I think it was, it was probably this year, about um, which fats you can heat up, which ones you shouldn't heat up, or how much you should heat them up, and, and so on and so forth to prevent oxidation. So oxidation is what we do not want. We do not want the fats to oxidize um, and cause damage to cause damage to the vessels. Uh, so we want to make sure that we're getting in not only proper fat sources, but fat sources that aren't oxidized when we're consuming them because there are fats that are quote unquote good that do oxidize easily. So we have to be careful. Um, perfect example is fish oil. You know, we know omega-3s are important. However, a lot of the time people get omega-3 products that are already oxidized. They sit on a shelf, um, or in too, too much heat or whatever, and they end up coming already oxidized or rancid, you know, so, and they're pretty much useless at that point. It might honestly be more doing more harm than good. So, you know, we want to make sure that we're choosing fats that aren't, you know, that aren't already pre-oxidized. So that's not only important in cooking, but it's also important in the fats that you're actually choosing and how they're stored and where you get them and so on and so forth. So, <clears throat> so I mentioned fish oil, so I can touch on that a little bit. So you want, you want a product that's probably not going to be exposed to a lot of light, meaning, you know, dark colored bottle or something that's just more shelf stable in general. So like I, I use Morphogen's Morph Omega, and this is a plug for that because it's a great product for that reason. It's actually a powdered fish oil product and it comes in uh, capsules that aren't see-through, the bottle's not see-through, it's shelf stable. Um, the, the specific powder product that it uses, Novatech, I believe is the actual um, the actual company that produces that. Yeah, and it's shelf stable, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so, you know, fish oil is an important one for anyone that's taking omega-3 supplements. You know, make sure you're consuming that or krill supplements or whatever it might be. Okay. And then, and then beyond that, another big one is your oils that have a lot of uh, polyunsaturated fats specifically and, mo and monounsaturated fats or, or some combination of both. Um, I'll just talk about oils in general and oils that are unsaturated. So start there. So unsaturated fats. So a big one being olive oil. All right. So one thing you'll notice about this is this olive oil is in a dark bottle. Um, typically when I'll add olive oil to a plan for a client, I'm going to suggest that it's going to be in a pretty dark bottle um, to avoid oxidation. And, and also, olive oil is faked a lot. So get a good brand. Don't just get the cheapest thing that you can find. Um, find a reputable brand that is actually going to be olive oil that isn't going to be half, you know, half olive oil and half uh, corn oil or canola oil or whatever they end up cutting it with, you know, so find a good product um, that's, you know, you know what you're getting. Because yeah, olive oil is notorious for uh, being tainted with other poor quality oils that are probably already oxidized sitting on the shelf, you know, so make sure you know what you're getting there. All right. Now, other oils... And I, olive oil, I give you that example because that's a common one that you're going to deal with the, the oxidation issue. But there are other oils that they are either have nutrients within them that naturally protect them or they are just more shelf stable by nature. So saturated fat, for example, is more shelf stable by nature because um, these because saturated fats don't oxidize as easily. They're more heat resistant, um, resistant to the things that cause oxidation. So that's why they're easier to cook with too. So if you notice um, in the post that I mentioned before, if you happen to see that, I talked about cooking with fats, you know, that's, or cooking with uh, saturated fats. So things like, here's one, one that I like to use. See, it's pretty much white. Yeah, that is from US Wellness Meats. That's actually um, pork lard. It's just pork lard from pastured pigs. So the pigs are Pigs are pastured, they go out, roam around, they eat a natural diet, you're getting a better fatty acid profile, and the pork lard yields a, a pretty good fatty acid profile for that reason. It doesn't oxidize easily, it's good to cook with, okay? So that's one. 
Um, <clears throat> coconut oil, you know, everyone knows about coconut oil. There's, is it bad? Is it good? Is it bad? Is it good? Well, um, one thing I can say is it does not oxidize easily. It is good to cook with. It does contain, um, it does contain some beneficial fatty acids, um, that I'm a fan of. So, you know, whether it's bad or good, that's, that's an argument that could be made, but I mean, used in the right context, I do think it is good. It contains hyaluric acid, which is a beneficial fatty acid in CTs. So, um, used in the right context, I believe that it is good, but does not oxidize easily. It's a good source. Um, I use, I typically get one in glass bottles because, you know, I'm weird and I think that it can, you might, you might leach some of the uh, BPA into the oil, you know, whether that happens or not, I don't know. I always just get glass bottles. Um, another one that I like, and I'm not pulling all my fat sources out. I eat all kinds of fats. I have a lot of animal fats too, you know, so the animal fats, I'm going to leave that stuff in my freezer and my fridge. But uh, the, another one that I like, palm oil, virgin palm oil. So this is red palm oil, obviously. Yeah. So cool thing about this is some of these oils, specifically palm, it contains um, a lot of vitamin E and it contains a lot of um, carotenes. So with that, there's already, there's already antioxidants built into this that will help prevent oxidation or help protect it from that. So you're getting a one-two punch there. It's already kind of a self-protected oil and provides, it provides um, some forms of vitamin E that are extremely hard to get through anything else as well. So it's a cool fat source. I normally add to plans a lot or give that option on there, okay? Um, another one that I get asked about sometimes is uh, are, are nuts or some people peanuts, but really they're not a nut. But anywho, yeah. So you'll notice raw, I, I tend to stick to raw just because the roasting, there's more chance of oxidation there and roasting them. Now, there are differences in roasting processes between dry roasted and oil roasted. Dry roasted tends to be a little bit better. You're gonna see mixed opinions in the literature, but dry roast is not roasted in oil for one, so it's not roasted in some kind of junk you know, vegetable oil or whatever they want to use. And it tends to be uh, less oxidation. I just like to stick to raw. I don't have to worry about it. So I, I, I personally, I, I just like the taste. I, I do like the taste of the raw nuts too. Walnuts have a really good fatty acid profile. So I'll use those. Almonds are good. Macadamia nuts are good. Um, and you can mix it up a little bit too. So <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this, let you guys know if you are including fats in your diet, it's not only, you know, obviously step one, in step one in any food selections, you're going to eliminate a lot of the issues within uh, food selection by just choosing good whole foods. But there can be more to it than that. So like fat specifically choosing things that aren't going to oxidize easily or aren't already oxidized when you buy them. So if you guys like this video, let me know. I can talk a little bit more about food selection in other aspects, proteins maybe, or even more about fats, or even talk a little bit about carbohydrates. I mean, there's a lot of things to consider in food selection. So if you like it, let me know. I'll probably do some more of these.